You hear someone say, Kita robola, someone says, How cocky. How did you get I say, Ah, how cocky. Because of this word, someone is buried as we speak this morning. We have people today that don't delay to attack. Look at your neighbor. We have men that don't delay to attack. Any small problem, they deal with you there and there. Jesus answered nothing. He kept his silence. Our silence is strong. It teaches us self-control. Turn about. Our silence is strong. My silence is powerful. It teaches me self-control. The Bible says, now Jesus stood before the governor. And the governor asked him, saying, are you the king of the Jews? And he said to him, it is as you say. Verse 12. And while he was being accused by the chief priests and the elders, he answered nothing. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? Verse 14. But he answered him, Not one word, so that the governor marveled greatly. That verse 14, he answered him not one word. There are people here today. Your words are like arrows. When you speak, you thrust. Words are like arrows. You are here today. There are some people, your words are like knives. When you speak, you step. He did not answer. Our Lord Jesus Christ's silence, it shows us how much he depended on God. Meaning, your silence shows me how much you trust and depend on God. That's why we say, my dear warrior, pray. Acknowledge that God speaks on their behalf. Turn about those who maintain their silence, they acknowledge that God speaks on their behalf. Yes. Ask your neighbor, what do you do when you are insulted? And you prophesy your neighbor very well. Just look at him in the eye and prophesy him. What do you do? God is showing you something. I can see God is showing you something about this person. It brings me to the title of my message today. Learn to maintain a quiet spirit. Learn to maintain a what? 
a quiet spirit. Our silence is powerful. It's very powerful even when we are quiet because it keeps us from sin. Our silence is powerful. It keeps us from making costly mistakes. Our silence is strong. It teaches us self-control. Tell about our silence is strong. My silence is powerful. It teaches me self-control. My God. We have people today that don't delay to attack. Look at your neighbor. We have men that don't delay to attack. Any small problem they deal with you there and there. Jesus answered nothing. He kept his silence. We have women here who don't delay. Look at your neighbor. Prophesy him. Prophesy her very well. And if you know, just say them you, you don't delay. You look like you don't delay. <laughs> Jesus answered nothing. People of God, today, it is not only accident that is dangerous. Words are very dangerous. Because of words, families are broken today. Words. Even a fool is considered wise. Let's look at that. Even a fool. That's verse 27. He who has knowledge spares his words. Can you spare your words? Can you spare your words? I will spare my words. He who has knowledge spares his words. That means you can have a point, but it is not everywhere where you have to prove a point. And a man of understanding is of a calm spirit. Even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. People of God, your silence can save your life. Just by you being quiet, it can save your life. There is one of the most dangerous words in Botswana. Do you know it? One of the most dangerous words in Botswana. I'll spell it. G A O K A K You are not hearing me. It's what? That is one of the most dangerous words in this country. You hear someone say, Get a hobola. Someone says, How kaki? How get a hobola? I say, Ah, how kaki? Because of this word, someone is buried as we speak this morning. It's not an accident that killed them. This word, how cocky it has killed many people. I saw an article, a woman had stabbed her husband 15 times. But if you had kept quiet, maybe there would be peace and dialogue today. How cocky. It's dangerous. So. It's dangerous. It is better to appear a fool than to constantly try to prove a point. And someone loses their life in the process. It's wrong. It's very wrong. In the house, 
learn to hold your peace. At the workplace, learn to hold your peace. That means you can talk about me, but I will hold my peace. It means you can insult me, I will hold my peace. This is our problem. Today, words have buried people. Not motor vehicle accident, words. Today, eh? Today. words have buried people. Just a word. It has buried people today. And we need change. I need to change myself. I don't know about you. My speech has to change for the glory of God. Forever I am changed by your love. In the Majesty, Majesty.